Good afternoon everybody, how are we all doing? Excuse my hair, I've just out the shower and I've just popped it up because it looks a bit of a mess and I'm now keeping little furry, bit, furry bits. I'm losing my hair as well. It's going there. Um, anyway, so how are we all doing? Sorry I didn't upload yesterday. I was, uh, I couldn't, I could hardly get motivated. I was feeling very down, depressed, uh, a fibro flare. I'm not kidding you. I, I could hardly, I couldn't even get off the sofa. And when I did, it would just go to the toilet, get out and make a cup of, or just scroll through my Facebook and stuff like that. I'm shattered. I'm just like a dog in from having a pee outside. Oh, I was gonna. No, go away. No. What are you doing? What are you doing? Say hello. Here we are. Ugh, your bad stinks. Ah, of um, Just let her in. I was going to clean the car today, over it and that, but I was going to put it in the car park. However, there's kids play football, so oh, I can't do that now. No, you've just been out. Um... I did put a poll up on my community page, on my, is it my, my channel page, on YouTube, to see what you would like me to talk about, uh, whether it's just Prince Harry, Meghan, could be anything from Fibro, but you'd have to comment below for that one because I didn't have enough room or any other health conditions. Um, what else were there? Docker did dozen, more on the Hingham family, um, what do you call that woman? Mama June family crisis. Now, I, when I will talk about these, I'm not going to sit there and slag them off, if you know what I mean. I just want to get, uh, you know, what's it? I don't want to be nasty about it, I just want to talk about get my point of view. You you guys can leave comments below and what your point of view is, if it's what they're doing is, you know, this dangerous thing in the Arctic for the Hinghams, Mama June, where she's off the rails sometimes before she has moved until recently. But in the UK, we used to watch, it were Honey Boo Boo and then it was... Mama June, hot to not, not to hot or something, and now it's Mama June, family crisis, but we've not had that on the TV for a while, so what I've been doing is watching it on YouTube, so I'm going to give my point of view on them, and the majority of people have, sorry, I have to keep up his shoulders, majority of people have asked me to talk about them and more on the Hingham's, um, so if you want me to talk about anything else in particular, just pop a comment below and I will do so. I will, however, make sure I do my research because even though I do what I've watched the family, uh, Mama June from on and off through the years, because it was like, it was on TLC in the UK for so long and it's just stopped. Um, I forgot where I'm going with this. What was I saying? Bit of my brain fog, brain fart, I just. Um, yeah, I will do my research, even though I have watched it. I like to be more, I like to know my information before I start talking because I don't want to be wrong about things. So I want to be 100%. <laughs> Damn you, fibro, why do you have to attack my body? And anyone else have a not so great day with a fibro or, or any other? I mean, that jaw pain I can never say. Tr Trigger them. It's neuralgia or something. It's, I had a flare up of that the other night, and what could you I thought, oh, I want to smash my head against a brick wall. It was that painful. Um, so I do need to. You know, you know when you get fed up of going to the GPs about your fibro and other conditions because you feel like you're going to get judged by the GPs or they're like, oh, here we go again, what now? Because my body gets used to pain relief pretty quickly. Um, and right now, the one that I'm using is gabapentin and it's just not touching me. It helped at first with my jaw pain. I'm not going to felt pain in all my life. I think I did a video on that. I was having an attack after attack after attack and... 
Oh my lord, I've seen a few videos as well on people that suffer with that. And I won't wish it on my worst nightmare. Um, no, sorry, it's kids outside. I keep hearing the noise. I think Anna's in, Anna's in the bath now. And she's, oh, jeez. Oh, this joint. Um, I tried using my crutches yesterday. I'm not kidding you. They're no, they're no good for me. I'm just going to wipe them down and donate them. Because I bought the ones where... Let me just put you down. Millie, move out the road. Come on. Just sat there on top of me. Oh, but easy. So, if you... Um, let me just go and get them. Sorry, I came back through, started talking and realised I'd put you on pause. Let me start again. <laughs> Rip, Millie! So this is my crutches, I've, I've just brought one through. So it just like, you hold that bit, but your arm just, I can't, your arm just kind of leans in. Might need adjusting a bit, but I feel like it's too big. So yeah, one second, because this dog's driving me nuts. Dog, um, she wanted in Olivia's room. Anyway, so, those crutches, I just feel like they're a bit too wide there, um, and it's not, it's uncomfortable. Like the ones that you get from hospital, oh, they're the worst. So, I'm not confident with walking with these when I'm outside. If I have to, I'll use one, and then if I've got one of the kids with me, I'll hold on to them. <laughs> or I've got my stick. So, I have, I have one of my crutches in my bedroom, I have one in the hallway because I've got my I'm one in the living room and I've got my stick in the living room. So in case I need it, at least if I'm there, I can grab it. I did think about getting some like glitter, uh, like sequin things, and just you know dazzling them up a little bit. But I thought I can't use them. I'm just gonna wipe them up and donate them. Um, and then I thought about. Because I went to physio and I, I told them I couldn't make it one day and then they've just told the doctors that I just didn't turn up. I, I messaged them, which is frustrating now because now it's, I'm going to have to, I mean, I've got the exercises and I'm still doing them, but that's not strengthening my muscles up right now. My back feels like it's uh, my legs that want to give way. I'm st sitting like this with my butt in the air, stretching my back out because I'm trying to, uh, I it hurts. Try if if I stand in positions for so long it hurts, but I'm trying to like in a way that where I'm getting comfy. Um, so I don't know what that face was for. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing for tea either. Um, and I forgot. I keep having brain farts. It's like, and then it forgets. Now you probably think, oh, why is she keep insulting herself? Sometimes I find if I take the pee out myself, it's people are less likely to. <laughs> You know, I don't know, I can't word it. What's, I do it when I'm, I'm at therapy. He goes, why do you do that? So I don't know, it's just it's a coping mechanism, I suppose. It's, well, I'll get in there first before someone else can insult me, you know what I mean? And then, obviously, oh, brain fog. Yesterday, I think the flare, oh my Lord, I've never felt so tired in my life. But, you know, when you try and go to sleep, but you can't, you just shut your eyes like that. And then, as soon as you do that, it's like, hmm, did you turn the plug off? Did you do this? Oh, and then I start all thinking. Oh, images start coming across in me, across me, in my eyes. It's like, it's like that. That sounds like a train, but you know, that's what, like that images. Honestly, I was feeling quite low yesterday, and I did try to ring IHTT last night seven times. Every time I did, they were like just getting. As soon as I put, because I like to know who's on the other end of the phone, if it's a man, nothing against men, it's just I prefer to talk to women. If it's someone I don't like, not that I don't like, but cat, I don't feel comfortable talking to, I put it on last speaker. If it's someone that I know, I'll talk. If not, disconnect. I'm sorry, but I'll just suffer in silence and then I'll try again later. But yesterday, it was like ringing, put it on last speaker, it's just disconnected straight away, so I'm wondering if they've got another fault in the line. So, and obviously I've got a bit of a headache as well, so I don't know if that's the increase of the metazapine. 
Um, and the only downside about my tele it does work, but the only downside downside of it is the weight gain. And I've just weighed myself and I'm like, I don't like it. So I'm needing to like eat healthy in a budget that <laughs> it's hard. I need a new fridge freezer because mine's decided it wants to freeze up in the fridge. Um, so that's, what's, that's about at it. I know I keep banging on about it, but if I don't let it out, it's just going to eat away me. And then I'll go, then I'll start thinking about something else, and that'll overthink. And then I'll start thinking about my washing machine because that's on its way out. Um, what else is there? Um, I don't know. My TV uh, has got like. And I've had that TV for come up six years now, but Tom's dog, <laughs> Tom's dog, like nudged it really hard the other day. Now it's got like a black blob in on the side. Don't affect the rest of the picture, but yeah. And obviously, I want, once I start feeling better, I'm going to start getting the flat organised. Now I've got some beds coming. Um, luckily it's your pay on the day, so they're coming, not this week, coming the week after. And hallelujah, the kids break up on the 22nd, two weeks of sleepings. Well, I hope so, because I need it. Um, I don't know what this video is a thing, I think I've just talked about a little bit of everything. But yeah, these holidays are coming up. I'm not sure, I was meant to go to Scotland. But Anna is now cat sitting, um, which means I can't leave Olivia what stay with her brother because she goes, he's moody. Well, he's at the minute. Because <laughs> he's not getting enough sleep because he's on the sofa. So he's got a bed coming on 26. Anna's got an, a, a new bed coming. So it's like, I want to get his bedroom. That little, it's classed as a dining room, but we use it as a bedroom because it's bigger than the one that's tiny. So. This week coming, I want to get in there, wipe down skating boards, um, well he can, um, <laughs> give it a good clean, freshen up, and I also want some blinds for the house because it's coming up to spring and summer now and every year I the sun just glares, because I'm in the middle of a flat, it glares right through, you can't see nothing. So I wouldn't mind what you call the vertical blinds, but blackout blinds. Then I can take the curtains down um, because there's no need for curtains because I did this in my last house. So you know what, it actually looks better with no curtains because it actually looks tidy. Curtains make, make it look a bit, well, it depends. In my last house I had, I had a house where this is a flat and cat, my cats just like to bloody pee everywhere and that I need, I, I know, I forgot to cat protection and my mind, I need to write a list but then I make a list oh it's Anna in the bathroom the bathroom's on the other side of this wall so if you can hear some music it's a um, meditation music um, I've taken a break as well from doing my tarot readings and stuff like that i've spoke to my friend about it and i said i think i need my confidence has been hit with some negative comments i said but i'm not going to give up it just because of one negative comment because you know what i mean at the minute right now is yeah it's had a bashing and I don't want to, I've spent lo so much money on the decks of tarot cards I've got. Um, what else have I got? Well, they're not cheap, they're about another £20 a pack, maybe less, but you know what I mean? I've got all my, my stuff that I'm, I've done other readings and that's been fine, and I'm just going to stop for a little while just to get my confidence back, and I'm not going to, like my, my friends. Well, she's a friend, she's a teacher type thing. She said, just don't do family members. So I won't. So she's given me a few people to practice on. Well, she is doing, but I said, right now, I can't. Let me just leave it for now and I'll visit that again. Maybe after the Easter holidays, it gives me a chance to 
get back on feet. Hopefully my medication will have kicked in by then because I've only took the new dose last night and hopefully I will start feeling better. Um, I'm trying to get anything negative away from me so she's, I'm, I'm going to ask for her to do me a bit of Reiki. Um, her chakras are blocked so she'll do that as well. Or oh, Reiki's good. I'm not going to um, when I had my session with her, first time ever, I've never had it done before. Um, I didn't know much about it, and I'm, you know, I was so relaxed. I've never, I've never felt so relaxed in all my life. And then I'm like, don't fart. <laughs> I'm like butt clenching my butt. I'm like, do not fart. I thought, please. I couldn't. And then my stomach was like, Rrr. I thought, oh God, why do you have to pick your moments? <laughs> But it did, and I felt when I was on my belly and she was doing my lower back, she didn't know, she didn't, at the time, she didn't know anything about my back, my health issues, apart from my mental health, she knew that because obviously I'm friends. And I was like, jeez. As she got to my lower back near my butt, you know, is it your pelvis? Or, I don't know, my, my, near the bottom of your spine. So I've got a slip disc bulging disc because it's bulging and now and again I'll get like that and I felt all this warmth and pressure just come away from my back I've never felt so relaxed in all my life you should get it done I highly recommend it it might be some people think oh no you know you're probably going in there thinking that's what she'll find but no I did she, I felt so free my shoulders felt so relaxed I, I, I didn't feel no pressure my stomach I was having a bit of stomach ache at the time that felt I felt like I was floating afterwards Ugh, that's cold um anyway guys I'm gonna love you and leave you because I've been talking for the past 17 minutes and I haven't got a clue what I've spoke about and um, a bit, I've got a bit of brain <laughs> I'm getting another brain fart coming on so I'm best yeah let me know in the comments below what you would like me to talk about next it does help with algorithm and the likes as well it helps promote my videos um, I am trying and I do feel a little bit okay so hopefully i'm gonna be back on track I, like i say i'm gonna start doing my healthy eating so i want to do that i'm gonna try and find some exercises that's good for fibro and losing some damn weight because i've got a big belly it's always there it look, look i look like i'm six months pregnant and bloated as well um, anyway, pop a comment below what you'd like me to talk about if it's uh, another youtube video you like or a program or a famous person you'd like me to talk about pop that comment below and i'll catch up with you in the next video enjoy the rest of your evening and hopefully we'll catch up with you tomorrow it's sunday boring sunday what can we say i'm off to make a brew so i'll catch up with you soon see you later bye bye